Hello, I'm Ralph Shaddock, Regional Market Manager for BG Products. I'm also a trainer for BG University, and as such, we work on little demonstrations just to give a good basic understanding of what goes on in the automotive world today. Okay, what I want to do today is show you how BG MOA works to stabilize an oil, to make it last longer, but it is also in part the dispersant characteristics of the MOA and stops the soot formation, the soot scatter technology in there. So the way to show this really is to take some oil in two test tubes. And you'll notice the one on the left has more oil than the one on the right. That's because I'm going to add MOA to this one to bring them to approximately the same levels. This way you cannot be accused of cheating or whatever anybody else wants to say. Okay? So now we have two test tubes, one has MOA and one doesn't. It's quite obvious which one has the MOA in, okay? I'll leave you to keep an eye on it. It's not the shell game. So we'll leave you to keep an eye on it. Now I need to mix it, okay? So that we've got a nice, completely mixed solution. Okay? This one doesn't need any mixing because it doesn't have any additive in it. You can mix and put other additives in this test tube if you so desire. If you want to try the effects of mock, of winds, or any of our competitors, please do so. It's quite interesting to see what the effect is. Okay? So, now I do this. I don't want to mix up my little stoppers, so I keep the one for the MOA on this side and the one for the oil on its own on this side. Contamination would be a real problem. Now I take a penny and paper clip. Okay? The penny and paper clip represent the metals in an engine. The paper clip represents the steel in the engine from the bearings, the rings, and things like that. Okay? The copper is the underneath the, the steel on your big end shells and small end shells and things like that. So I want to see what is the reaction on these metals when I oxidize the oil and make it old. Okay, so I put one in each and I drop it in carefully and I do the same with this one. So what I've done now is I have a penny and paper clip in here and I've now mixed them up giving it a nice coating on the metal surfaces before we start. Okay, and the same thing applies to the BG one with the MOA in it. I want to get a nice film of MOA and oil on these metal surfaces before I go anywhere after that. Okay, now comes the interesting part. Now, I must emphasize, do not do this presentation in an enclosed area because you will be looking at incredible smell okay and I do know of people that have done it in rooms above a restaurant and the restaurant has had to be evacuated so what I'm going to do because I'm dealing with acid I'm going to put my glasses on again for protection we then take our fluid sample and we're going to add 20 drops of acid to each fluid sample one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay? Do the same with this. It doesn't matter which one I do first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so there's my 20 drops in each. Now comes the nice part, we mix it up. You will see a dramatic change in the color of the fluid, specifically the BG one, because we have a red dye in it. So therefore, it's going to make it appear much darker than it was before. Okay, there's the BG one mixed, and here's the regular oil. I'm going to mix up the acid into it, and start it breaking down. Okay, this is some pretty nasty oil. Having done this quite a lot of times, you get to know what you're dealing with. Okay, so now we have our two samples. Again, I do not mix up the stoppers. So, what I need to do now 
is to heat these. And I want to make heat them evenly. So, what I'll do is I'll count to ten on each one as I do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now you can see there's been quite a considerable color change with these two fluids. The BG1 looks very similar to what it was before. This one has darkened dramatically. One of the problems is that while I was doing this, like any good demonstrator, um, I should have checked to make sure that I had fluid left in my torch because it started to run out while I was doing it. So we may end up with a very low temperature mix on this. But we'll wait and see, shall we? Okay, now you're going to sit here for about five minutes waiting for this to go. What I recommend you to do, you must wait five minutes. Okay, what I recommend that you do while you're doing this is you do the MOA demonstration in your hand. Or use the DOC, the diesel oil conditioner. The diesel oil conditioner has a total base number of 44. MOA has a total base number of 33. So it's a little stronger in its resistance to acid. Okay? So you can now have demonstrated two products at the same time. Okay? One word of warning, this does not work with DOC. It does not work with DOC. They are different additive packages that we've got in there. One is for diesel, one is for petrol engines. It will not work for DOC. So what we're about to do now, as the five minutes are up, we're about to pour our fluids out. So I'm going to come around this side of the table because you can get a little bit better shot on it. Okay, first of all I'm going to take the oil on its own. Okay, and when I pour this out, you'll see it's pretty thick and pretty sludgy coming out of there. This is the same one with the MOA added to it, exactly the same oil. Okay, look at the difference in the colour. Here's the one penny from the oil on its own, okay, and here's the one with the BG. If we just give it a little wipe, there's some loose stuff on it, but you can see how clean and shiny that is underneath the surface, okay. This one is absolutely covered in carbon and soot. The soot is very abrasive inside a vehicle and will absolutely clean uh, absolutely wear out your, your engine faster and faster because of the soot that's in that engine. What we try to do is minimize the amount of soot that comes out of that oil. Even though we superheated it exactly the same, we're not covering your bearings, okay? We're not wearing out your engine with the soot that's in there. We're keeping it nice and shiny and clean. Which one works best for you? The old standard question. You can't really answer any other way. It's got to be the BG one. 